How's it going? Oh. You look like you're in peak COVID times. <laughs> <laughs> Got the mask. <laughs> morning and happy monday welcome back to another weekly vlog i have definitely acclimatized because it is currently 14 degrees and i'm freezing like in canberra today it's probably like minus two or like five degrees here it's 14 degrees and i'm literally shivering it's not a start to one of my vlogs if i don't talk about the weather but today i woke up feeling kind of crappy and i haven't been feeling the best for the past couple of days so I think I'm just going to take it a little bit easy today. I'm just going to make the thumbnail for the video that's going live tonight, which will be my morning routine. So I'll leave the link up the top for you for that one. And yeah, over last week, we actually did a few DIY things around the house. So the main thing Rowan built last week is this beautiful like entryway seating area. And so that's just like where we put out like all of our shoes. <laughs> Hello guys, my sitting right in the middle of the shot. Um, and this plant is growing beautifully. And if you've been watching for a while, you'll see, you would have seen that we got this plant. It was so small, but this is our new little leaf that's coming through. Look how big she's getting. I'm so proud of her. And this is another little plant that we just got from Bunnings yesterday. I just absolutely love this little entryway seat. Oh, Cosmo's growling at me. Why are you growling? He's in such a like <laughs> teenager mood today. He's just biting me all the time. Over the weekend, we also bought one of our favorite board games, Articulate, which we are so, so excited to play. I also got an absolute bargain off Facebook Marketplace. So I got a blender that this lady just had never used. I got that for free, which was incredible. And I also got a printer that had also never been used for 20 bucks. So now I'm so excited because I absolutely love designing product packaging. So now I can literally design a product, print it in the dimensions I want, like cut it out, whatever, and actually put it on a product to actually see how it looks. I'm going to be able to add so much more to my portfolio. I'm actually going to be able to see my designs like on paper. I've been wanting to get a printer for so long and yeah, I'll just be able to see how all my designs look on different types of paper. And yeah, I'm really excited for this printer. So I got that for 20 bucks. I probably spent most of the last three days trying to figure out how to connect it to the Wi-Fi. Like, like I'm, I'd say I'm pretty good with technology and figuring things out. But this printer, I swear, it almost broke me. Like, it was just not working every single step of the way. And I would look up YouTube tutorials and there'd always be something on my phone that wasn't showing up or something on the printer that wasn't showing up. And it was just an absolute nightwear, nightwear? nightmare. So Rowan went to buy me the cord just to connect the printer to my laptop. And that's how I can print things. It was a whole thing, but I'm so excited to have my printer. Considering I'm not feeling my best today, I've got just quite a small to-do list. Do my thumbnail for my morning routine video, upload and schedule that one, design and print our budget spreadsheet because it is currently the 1st of May today. Pinch and a punch. I gotta finish my UGC profile. Gotta make a HelloFresh pasta for lunch because that one's about to expire. And oh, the one I'm absolutely dreading doing today is I need to create a new password and change it on absolutely everything because my current password is What's the word? It's um, compromised. It's just not a great thing for a password to be compromised when I basically do so many things online. I just need to continue editing my parents' Bali holiday video. Hopefully that should only take me to about two o'clock and then I can relax for the rest of the afternoon because I'm not having a great time. I've got the worst headache. I feel like congested. Yeah, it's just, it is not a great time. So I think I'm just gonna spend the day doing all of those things. Not a very interesting day at all. I just got this little package of cookies delivered for Rowan's birthday, which is coming up soon from this amazing cookie business called Pretty Bites. I absolutely idolized this girl when I had my cookie business and she just has like these, the cutest little things. So definitely go check her out. I'm just gonna write a little note on the back of this love you card and wrap it up ready for his birthday. I am feeling so unmotivated today because I just don't want to do anything that's on my to-do list. <sighs> 
You know those life admin days where you kind of just dread every single task that's coming up? And you have to do them because you're an adult now and no one else can do them for you. And yeah. That's how I'm feeling right now. But I can also make really cool decisions as an adult, like having a cupcake at like 10 a.m. This probably isn't going to help my headache or make me feel any better than I'm actually feeling right now. But it's going to make me feel better in the short term. And so I'm just going to go with it. Cheers. Mm-mm-mm. Also, if the audio is a little bit funny in this video, I think it's because I broke my mic in my last video. So I'm hoping that when I go to edit it, the audio is fine. But if it's not, I might have to scrap this entire vlog. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh! <laughs> Cosmo just appeared out of nowhere. Hello! My car is also still at the mechanic. And the last time I called them, I'm like, hey... What's going on? What's the update? You've had my car for over a month now. Like, I kind of need it back to continue on with my life. <laughs> and they basically said, well, when you brought it in, like, cylinder three had misfired. And, like, there was a whole other issue thing in the engine or something. And as they've been working on it, cylinder four has misfired. And appar apparently my car is just playing silly buggers. And they just, they can't get anything to work. And they're just having a really hard time with it. So they're like, look... We're really sorry we want to like, we want to give your car back in like a great condition but we're just slowly figuring out what's wrong with your car and we don't know when we're going to be done so that's the update on that one a bit frustrating but what can i do like i obviously i don't want them to give my car back and it not be done so if you're following along have a guess on the date when my car will be ready because it might be 2024 for all we know. This is a sign to not buy cars off Facebook Marketplace just because they're cheap because they're going to cost you money in the long run. Even if you trust the person who's selling it to you, there's probably a reason they're selling it to you super cheap. I'm also very aware that these recent vlogs have been really, really boring, but it's literally because I don't have a car. Like, I literally can't go anywhere. I'm just stuck at home talking about my thoughts and my feelings and just doing my work on my laptop. I wish I could go out to the beach with Cosmo. I wish I could go do all these fun things in this town that we've just moved to, but not yet. I'll have to wait a bit. Cosmo is now growling at me for some cupcake. Wait and yes, I look like an absolute slob because it is freezing today and I don't have any warm pants that look nice. So <laughs> it's literally trackies and a hoodie today. But I'm not here to look good. I'm clearly not a fashion channel. You say good morning. Oh, I've got cupcake on my hands. Good morning. He's not interested. Whenever I put Cosmo down, his little foot gets stuck in my pocket. I feel terrible. Okay, sorry for chatting your ear off. Bye. I have finally stopped procrastinating. It is 10.39. I'm just going to get it all done. Wish me luck. Absolutely love how it turned out. I don't get to do many like scrapbooky things because I never take nice photos, but I think this one looks so cute. Feeling kind of fearless. I want dangerous. Let's give this lunch a little taste test, shall we? Mm -mm. Hello Fresh actually has the best meals. And it's kind of teaching me to cook. Yum! And it's also taught me that. I do like salad. So good. Good morning. It is currently Tuesday and it's 8.29 in the morning. I've decided that today is going to be a bit of a write-off because I am just... It feels like my body is just shutting down for some reason. I don't know what's going on. My brain is so foggy. My body is aching. I literally... Like, I don't know where I could have caught this thing because... I can't leave the house. My car is still at the mechanics. I think it's almost been five or six weeks now. So I literally have no idea where I've caught this from. I think today is just going to be a really lazy day. Like I'm obviously going to get all the cleaning done, but I think I'm just going to maybe read for a little bit, watch a bit of YouTube, try not to strain my eyes because they literally feel like they're on fire. I feel like so far this whole vlog has just been so negative, but like... <laughs> It's literally just how I'm feeling. It's a vlog about my life and right now it's not that 
That's not that great. <laughs> Look at Cosmo right now. You want to play? I can play. My nemesis? No. Do you want ball? No. Do you want bone? No. Before you say anything, don't look at my hair. I, I, <laughs> I washed my hair this morning and then the delivery driver was outside and they're like, hello, hello. So I had to run outside. So my hair just like boofed up in the wind. Anyway, I got a package and it's a very, very exciting one. So I thought I would open it. I literally hate having hair this big and fuzzy. Look how bloody ridiculous it looks. I placed this order so long ago and I'm so excited for it. The delivery driver was so nice. He like yelled out, hello, hello. Instead of just leaving one of those slips that is just so frustrating to get to the post office without a car and they're not open on weekends. Anyway, rambling. Um, yeah, I said to him, I'm like, oh, we put a doorbell out a while ago so the delivery guys could ring the doorbell and I could come out. But there are kids walking past and they just ding the doorbell. And so we look outside, Cosmo gets all riled up and it's just school kids walking past. So not a vibe so he said oh if you just put it like under this little bit like the school kids can't see it and i'll tell all my delivery drivers about it i'm like oh my god fabulous so i'm gonna put the doorbell back out there in a secret place that the drivers know of oh my god it didn't even have any like protection what if i cut that thing with the scissors it's the photo book from our van trip i got two so one to keep here at our house and one to send to my nan so like all my family can see God. Our lap of Australia 2022, Darby, Rowan and Cosmo. <laughs> I love everything to do with like capturing memories, whether that's taking videos, taking photos, putting them in books like this. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to do a flip through with you. And of course, Cosmo gets the cardboard. Here you go. You got it?
I'm running on about 5% battery today, so please excuse my appearance, but I thought I would just jump on and show you how I turn my little doodles into vectors. So I basically just drew a bunch of like shitty drawings out in the sun this morning. And now I'm just going to go into my laptop. And then I basically just take a photo of this entire sheet on my phone. And then I airdrop that photo to my laptop. It's taking a while today, just like me. So now I'm just going to open this one up in Adobe Illustrator. <laughs> you can see my absolutely shit drawings of slippers. Really, I usually do A4, but I think I might do A6 because that's going to be the size of my sticker sheet. So I'm just going to copy and paste that onto my A6 size sheet. And then I usually put the opacity of my image down to like 50-ish percent. And then I'll just choose the drawing that I want to start with. So maybe... I mean, all these drawings are pretty trashy. Maybe I'll start with like the mug. Um, so I basically just, actually, I should select a new layer. I'll lock that layer, I'll go into this layer, and I'll just take the pen tool and just trace around my drawing. And this is going to be my cute little whipped cream. This is going to be like a nice, crazy hot chocolate. Obviously, this is just the rough draft to begin with. And then we'll basically just go in here and fill in whatever color we want the mug. Um, I really haven't thought about colors at all, but I'm thinking more like dark sort of autumn vibes. Maybe dark brown could be cool. Um, that is obviously like the absolute roughest drawing that will definitely not be making it to the final sticker sheet but that's basically how I turn my little doodles that I did on my notebook into vectors in Illustrator. I'm having my pasta dish again today because one HelloFresh recipe equals three meals for me and I was hoping I was going to be able to watch this new Ed Sheeran documentary because it says it comes out on the 3rd of May and that's today but it must mean 3rd of May like American time. So, I might have to watch that tomorrow. It's basically the end of the day now. It's like almost 6 o'clock. But I thought I would just show you this thing that I just discovered that is probably taught when you're a child. But I just figured this out. It's like when you're taking Panadol or like painkiller, whatever you take. I've always... <laughs> this sounds so silly. I've always taken it and like put my head back to try and... Like get it down and I've always been someone who's really terrible at swallowing tablets like half the time they just like come back up like I just I can't do it I don't know how the algorithm found this video for me because I hadn't looked up anything to do with this but somehow it knew I was sick and as I was scrolling this video came up and it said like when you're taking tablets instead of tilting your head back tilt it forward because like the little tablets float in water or something. I don't know, it just like works better with your throat. I don't know, this is so weird. <laughs> it literally works. Every single time I'm sick, the part that I dread the most is taking the tablets. Anyway, count how many times I've said tablets in this clip. I don't even know why I'm talking to you right now. <laughs> just talking about my tablets and how I feel really shitty today. Quality content. But anyway, let's hope for a better day tomorrow. The sky is really pretty right now though. And one more thing from today, I don't know if I told you, but at around lunchtime, I heard this massive thump on the window and I'm like, what the heck was that? And I went to the window and there were all these bird feathers on it. Like this bird just like flew into the window. I mean, it's like, wow, you cleaned it great. Congratulations. But like also, like, is he all right? I don't think I've mentioned this, but we have had the busiest couple of weeks. Like my parents came two weeks ago for a couple of days visit, which was really nice. I hadn't seen them in a very long time. And then we had last week without anyone coming to visit. And now this weekend, Rowan's parents are coming to visit. So it's very busy, but it's so, so good getting to catch up with family. You are the 